Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of 20 minutes till dawn, road to 100% and uh, yeah, today we are playing the release version um, it's probably released by like almost one week at the time of this uh, episode and we only have three achievements with the new weapons and yeah, there were some changes like in the runes um, there was the elemental shield which is uh, um, agility basically uh, now uh, you would be invulnerable for five seconds now it dodge chance is uh, plus two per rank and dodge caps at 60 percent um, these ones stay kind of the same uh, blessings is the same um, healing premonition um, that might be a bit better like you get 50 more dodge caps so you can get from 60 to 75 instead of starting with holy shield uh, i mean yeah it, it it makes like this not be the default choice and yeah growth and body and soul um I mean, body and soul is good now uh, because what it does, it's uh, the soul hearts are now capped, so you cannot have infinite amount of soul hearts, which was well a bit to make the game harder on certain difficulties. Um, but now you can uh, increase the max limit uh, of soul hearts by plus one per rank. So you can also get like a lot of soul hearts, but you have to uh, give up some growth or things like that. And now windshield, um, I mean, uh, that's interesting, the windshield shield, um, it certainly diversifies uh, the, the tree here, but yeah, here is the same. Here nothing changes, uh, here is the same, and uh, yeah, the same. So basically I will try actually to go for a dodge build and uh, yeah, let's see how it is with the new uh, soul hard cap. I will go for cadence, uh, I don't know if it's good or bad. Um, I will go for close combat and power and let's take um, well who should I take I mean uh, hmm. yeah let's go for uh, diamond very high HP so I can unlock the things and I there is like a secret boss I guess that I have to defeat in order to uh, get the watering gun. Uh, I don't know exactly where it is the secret boss so yeah. A as of now uh, when I'm playing it's just released in 1.0 so I will go for the um, cyclone sword. Seems interesting. I will play standard mode. Uh, darkness 15 go for forest and uh, yeah let's go and see what mayhem we can do uh, it's really nice uh, the the fact that we can uh, play this game again it's really nice it, it's interesting that the sword hmm, seems to be pretty powerful for a uh, um, for uh, let's say uh, bullet build yeah I will go for dodge uh, I mean the arrow uh, was changed now it should be a bit better to be honest uh, I will go for dodge for now um, so yeah the the arrow basically was changed the arrow magic uh, which I think now makes it good because Otherwise, it was pretty weak. You could only play with the mini clip synergy, and now, uh, yeah, the the dragon bonuses were, uh, uh, let's say, they were increased. Um, so yeah, 
but yeah, now it should be interesting to to deal with enemies and things like that. So let's try and see how it goes. For now, the um, sword seems really nice. Uh, I don't know where the secret boss is. Uh, I haven't looked it up. I think it's a flower. So I believe I would be able to find it in the forest. Maybe killing a tree spa spawns it. Uh, also the tree um, damage was... Uh, uh, yeah, the tree damage was... Uh, uh, I mean, not the tree damage, the tree health uh, was um, reduced by half. So that's nice. That's for sure. So yeah, we'll see. I mean, right now it seems like a cool update. There were some uh, uh, balancing things that were done, like the soul heart was capped. Now you can uh, gain a limited amount of soul hearts. The glare was uh, uh, tweaked, uh, so it's not that, that good. Um, it was fixed the issue with magic lens that would make uh, uh, grenade launcher projectiles explode on heat. So yeah, for now I'll go for electro magic. Um, so yeah, but uh, th there were some tweaks and there were nice tweaks and things like that. And yeah, now when you get uh, to rank 20, what's more interesting is that when you get to rank 20, you can. Uh, upgrade your weapon the weapon has a uh, evolution so to speak so you can upgrade it which i guess is nice power shot uh, here was a negative was removed and things like that uh, so yeah it, it it's nice that there were some balancing things and uh, yeah the the weapon evolution i'm really really um let's say i'm really curious to see it of course, I don't know if I can see it for all the guns, because, uh, yeah, uh, they are a lot, uh, but, well, and I don't know if I will, uh, let's say, try to do it uh, with all guns to see all the weapon of evolution, that would mean a lot of runs, and, uh, mm, I mean, I do want to also get on with other projects, uh, but I might do it like... Uh, I, I'm curious how it works with the sword. Uh, I, I do want to, to do it like... Um, let's say... Um, like maybe bonus things. Because yeah, I'm really curious how, how it will shape. I mean, this is the problem when I'm starting uh, like a game that is in early access and it's not fully released that yeah, you are going to miss out something. Well, of course, some things will be made easier, but uh, other things will made uh, will be made harder. So now you have no, uh, basically, no downside for taking it. So I'm going to take it. Um, so yeah, and uh, yeah, it seems that uh, the sword is really powerful not doing a lot with the mobs of enemies uh, that's the problem and I guess that the sword uh, ah. uh, yeah fire rate and reload rate I mean the, the thing is that the sword actually benefits for a very low reload rate I will take giant the magnetism 3 was also changed so yeah it should be okay. Uh, I for now I don't have a, let's say means of uh, recovering health, so yeah I'm I will just sit here and uh, hopefully not take damage. Uh, or maybe I do. I think I do actually. I will take big shot. Um, I mean the. Taking damage uh, with this character works very well if you have the other upgrade, which every time you heal, uh, you gain some status, like bullet size and I think fire rate. 
but I'm not sure. Um, but anyway, it's it's interesting and uh, yeah, very interesting uh, update. Uh, the 1.0, uh, some balancings now, like with Hina. Now the dash is uh, when you dash. Oh, this can be good, but uh, yeah. Uh, with Hina now, when you dash, you gain invulnerability by default. Uh, in the pre-release -re version of the game, you didn't have had that. Basically, you had to uh, uh, kill an elite in order to get this one. But now it's uh, unlocked by default. So, yeah, which is like a really good quality of life because it was very frustrating to use uh, in the early part of the game you basically had to sit close in order to um, deal with it oh man um, sniper yeah take me down so now I'm a good thing that this sword actually has quite good range uh, basically so yeah it, it was very frustrating because it was very easy to uh, run into um, what can I say okay uh, that that was my fault I ran into the boss I mean everything that I do here it's actually in a way beneficial because uh, yeah helps me um, okay, holy shield, mm, yeah, fire rate, why not? Um, and uh, yeah, now there are more tombs, so it's that's interesting because we are going for a high ma max HP character. Tom of Might can be interesting, this is the same. Tom of Wind, uh, hmm. Well, this is good. Um, yeah, I will. I will take Tom of Wind. Seems interesting. Or no, Tom of Might for now. So basically, now you have a bit more. Um, let's say uh, the uh, things to to build around from both stone tombs. Till now, it was very, very. Let's say disappointing like you had like the basic four tomes and that was it uh, didn't matter what else you wanted it was either some bullet bounces and yeah but they do do made it uh, so we can get uh, more than that so i am going to take smite um, because it can help me get more max hp because now we don't have the soul conversion that was in the pre-release in which you could convert the soul heart to red heart uh, in order to gain red hearts you gain you need to take specific upgrades to that lets you take um, take it yeah um split file uh, that lets you increase the max red heart which it's interesting certainly makes uh, playing like uh, diamond uh, a bit more uh, challenging but because uh, it was really easy with her to gain some sort of healing and then just uh, take damage heal take damage heal and get a lot of bonuses i mean it's also possible now if we go for uh, the some some trees but uh, the burn tree i mean i don't think they nerf it uh, basically the burn tree is every time you uh, cast burn to an enemy you heal which is uh, very nice and interesting but yeah for now this new weapon seems quite good uh, and i don't feel the need to heal myself i mean i will Kill even by mistake but I don't want to kill the elite before uh, getting to kill um, uh, before getting to heal in, in the idea that uh, if I get the one that uh, every time I heal uh, I gain some bonuses that would be ideal 
and the elite should came at the 12 minute mark does uh, yeah uh, or no in the second elite no no it won't come to the 12 minute mark but what I notice with this weapon is the fact that uh, sometimes it stops firing for some reason oh and now we have the evolution so um, hmm that's sick uh, after finish reloading that deal a huge that's nice uh, that's interesting hmm win katana i will take that cycle i mean <laughs> seems very nice <laughs> oh. i mean yeah it changes the way you play the game of course i could have gone for the one with the bonuses to move speed uh, but yeah it's okay uh bullet bounce yeah why not I choose to go for big damage cycle. Uh, of course now I should go for like a mini clip synergy or things that reduce my clip. And uh, yeah, I have to see the synergy. What is mini clip? Fanfire and fresh clip. That should be nice. Uh, and the synergies are the same. They didn't like work on them. So and fire and fresh uh, I should get to them at that point uh, I mean hey, fresh clip is this one but I will go uh, ripper rounds I like ripper rounds and uh, yeah let's go basically it's really nice to have these uh, different uh, synergies uh, or weapons and yeah, you can get them fairly quickly, so uh, yeah, it's it's nice. I really like it, and I really enjoy it. Uh, what I would actually want um, would be to can uh, to be able to see what uh, all these uh, weapon transformation are. About. I mean, I don't know if they are only the free one and you have, uh, or they are more for each weapon, but yeah, I, I, I would really want to see, to be able to see not from the game, but from the uh, game menu what the, what the transformations are about. And the idea to be able to um, plan certain things around those tr uh, transformations. For example, yeah, you know that this has the dead sickle, um, let's say, transformation. So, if uh, it's about uh, yeah, taking this one, then... Oh, I run into the tree. Then I, I could have gone earlier for a mini clip synergy, so I can reload very, very quickly. But, uh, yeah. I mean it is what it is, it's not that big deal. Uh, that's nice. Uh, I will take Holy Might first. Because uh, I have a lot of uh, health. And basically I'm reloading uh, quite uh, frequently. So it should matter. The fact that my Holy uh, Might Smite deals more damage. And then I can go for 500 kills. Cause Otherwise, I don't think it will help me that much. But yeah, um, it's, it's interesting. There were some buffs, there were some debuffs that uh, this um, some characters, some uh, trees received. Uh, some trees that I thought were already good, they also received some deep buffs. So yeah, I mean, it's nice. That's for sure. But yeah. It's interesting that now you can uh, increase your dodge cap by a certain amount. Uh, which, yeah, it's really nice. The fact that you can do that. 
and uh, yeah some trees that i was like why should i upgrade it uh, like it was the guardian tree which basically was yeah really bad it did nothing with each level up they were reward and uh, yeah it was really nice to see them reward uh yeah assassin i will take it so with my huge damage it should work wonders and let's see what we have here uh, yeah i mean it's almost activating so i mean a lot of piercing which is nice and knockback i don't know if i like knockback because uh, it uh, makes them go away from my uh, let's say uh, uh, period of uh, uh, Kinochi I mean hmm, Siege Arrow Magic um, I mean I want to try Arrow Magic out uh, see how good it is now when you summon it every 2 seconds instead of on reload I mean it, it, it was reworked a bit so should be more usable now but I still hate this shooter guys and yeah, I don't know what's the secret boss because I certainly have to kill a secret boss but maybe till next time we, we will find out what's the secret boss um, that rounds oh you don't uh, take uh, uh, one uh, health damage with that rounds anymore that's nice uh, also with uh, with some certain characters like with Asher now every 10 seconds instead uh, you transform instead of every 25 kills which in a way it's a bit of a nerf uh, because you could gain 25 kills in later parts of the um, the in later parts of the game uh, you could gain 25 kills in less than 10 seconds so basically you could transform it almost instantly of course it ma this makes the early game uh, easier uh, that's for sure but uh, makes the late game a bit harder uh, but it's okay so gain a soul heart every 90 seconds gain a, a soul heart max free this was nerfed uh, I mean in the idea that now uh, it's uh, only 10% for each soul heart that you currently have this is good and uh, yeah you can gain five soul hearts now uh, I will still take it um, because I want to play a bit with it and with the um, uh, the top oh this is the new i mean these trees were not uh, here now so not like that anyway um mm, i wonder why are they now here uh, are they the boss um like the, the secret boss that I have to kill uh, I can kill them no problem but I first need to get to the top of the soul heart field uh, in order to do that it's not impossible but uh, yeah hopefully there is not a time limit in which I have to do it uh, this was increased a bit uh, yeah, I will take anger point uh, I mean, it certainly goes with the theme of this uh, character, but uh, yeah, I don't know what's wrong with this freeze and uh, why are they so angry at me. Uh, hopefully, yeah, they are the secret balls that uh, Cough Cough was not introduced uh, in this update. <laughs> yeah, nice try, developers. Because uh, yeah, I do have to kill certain boss, certain boss to unlock the final uh, weapon. So 
Yeah, I guess uh, this is the secret wall. And uh, yeah, nimble. I I'm not sure how uh, how. Oh, this is really angry. So basically, now this uh, boss almost constantly fires at me. Oh, which is not that big of a deal actually. It should die pretty quickly, like the rest of them. So, hmm. I mean, nice try, boss. I'm sitting there and uh, just dealing damage to you, slowly moving from the enemy projectiles. And by the way, I hate this enemy projectile. So, yeah. I mean, now I'm at anchor point, I guess, because I... Oh no, I didn't take damage. Um, so, hopefully the boss will die soon. Uh, not that I would be very, uh, let's say, concerned about him, but I think yeah, he died very soon. I do want to get to Soul Link, and I will do something very... Come on. Uh, Tom of Power, Tom of Electro, hmm. Uh, that's interesting. Elasticity... I mean... Uh, hmm. Bullet damage size, piercing... Yeah, I will take it. I, I want to... Come on, come on. Okay. I just killed uh, all the priests. This is what I wanted to do. Uh, it was... it's a nice synergy between uh, that three and Assassin, so... Yeah... I mean, I did lose a soul heart. Not a big deal, that's for sure. Um, so, yeah... I'm just gathering levels now and... Uh, making my arrow mastery better, so to speak. But yeah, in, in a way it's nice that uh, they nerfed a bit the soul hearts, they were quite powerful. Uh, yeah, I don't have a heal, a way of healing, which is okay. But yeah, I'm just uh, happy with what I get. Uh, yeah, Fusiliade, that's nice. So, basically it seems that it just makes the range of the sword bigger, the, the fusiliad and things like that. But yeah, th this was a very easy weapon to, to ga gain a, a win, so I'm not even uh, mad, I mean, in, in a way... Yeah, I guess the, the weapon should be quite powerful, but uh, yeah, what's only the only one issue I have with this one is the fact that you don't really have uh, like the, um, a end boss, like it, you get to zero and you just survive, you don't have a end boss or things like that. To, to be, which, yeah, it's a bit, uh, how can I say, disappointing, um, but what can you do, I mean, this is the game, but yeah, it's, it's really nice, and the, the fact that you get your weapon, uh, let's say, upgrade, it's really powerful, the fact that and it's related to basically level, which some might like, some might not. Um, I mean, it would be interesting if, if it was related to, in a way, enemy kills with that weapon. Because with levels you can play like a summoning build and gain your weapon upgrade, even though, yeah, you didn't kill anything with it. But, uh, I mean, 
it's no, not not such a big problem that uh, yeah. now magnetism the pickup uh, radius is increased by a lot it was 30 percent uh, now it's 50 percent which is a big increase and but the three the three the magnetism trick uh, got the big biggest buff and i can understand why it wasn't really useful that useful i mean especially now with the glare buff it's a bit uh, even less useful because at least with glare you could go more oh, titan thank you um titan basically was angelic plus uh, giant and i had both of them um yeah but hmm. oh now i can do that but the, the problem is that i still can see my dodge uh, cast. i mean how much dodge i have and to be honest i'm too lazy to keep track of everything but it seems to have enough to don't get hit by a lot of enemies but uh, yeah we are close to finishing uh, this uh, run and i know it will go uh, like uh, live a long time after the release version is uh, out and basically every major youtuber would have already posted a video about that but oh yeah that's what i wanted uh, that's interesting So I have to beat this boss in order to, uh, in order to progress, which is nice. Mm. So my end boss complaints are, uh, let's say, solved, so to speak. And now it starts to be very angry at me. But. Yeah, hopefully it's the one that can be killed uh, and not just the one that is immortal and has a certain, uh, let's say, uh, gimmick to it, like having to go into those... Uh... Oh no, it's okay. I guess this is the final boss, the secret boss, which wasn't that secret anymore. <laughs> so yeah. I'm curious what I did unlocked. Uh, so, uh, runes are the same. I will choose a character and yeah, now I have the watering gun. Um, hmm. Interesting. And the salvo knife. Anyway, that's it for today. I hope you enjoy it and uh, yeah, we'll see each other next time. Take care and bye bye.